So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you the best rune farms in the game post 1.05 patch today, we get into it all. How's it going people, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the patch landed, well, earlier today. Um, it did nerf a few of the rune farms in the game. But hey, today I bring you the best uh, ones you can still use. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the also beautiful area of the Mugwind Dynasty area. The also popular Grace Point of the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Now, if you've completed the game and you have the Relic Sword, you'll be happy to know that you can still farm this hill. Kill all these dudes sitting here with one swing of this. They don't actually need the Relic Sword to do this. You can use other weapons. I'll put a link in the video description to a video I posted uh, where I showcase six or seven weapons you can do this with. Ain't going to be as efficient as the Relic Sword, but you can still farm these dudes much quicker than any other farm in the game. So that still works post 1.05 patch. Something else that still works, guys, is the also popular bird. Now, it seems to sort of change just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't seem as efficient as it was before, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But hey, if you shoot him, you get him correct, like so, you'll see, he runs off the map. That's it. So I, what I do is I'll sit down at this campfire, just like so. I'll stand back up, just like so. I'll run over to this gap right here and aim for that C there. You can see the C in between the branches and I'll shoot in between it. And if you do that, you'll see that he runs off the map. That's how I do it. That's how I've always done it. And there we have it. You get 13k for that. Keep in mind, you want to be using those buffs. Uh, this one right here, the gold scarab. Also, if you have any gold pickled foul feet, put them on too. And there you go. So those still work. One they did nerf, or tried to nerf, was this one down here. So from the same grace point, guys, which is that one right there. Come this way. This is one where you throw yourself off the map and swing that weapon. And they tried nerfing this one. It was by far the best in the game. You get like 160k every two minutes. Which is faster than the bird, it requires you not to actually shoot anything. But hey, it can be a little bit tedious, well then, or, or rune farming can be tedious, in my opinion. Now if you're not sure about how you get to this area, uh, there's two methods. I'll link a video as well in the video description. You need to complete the white face fire request line and get the pure blood knight's medal, which is an item you use from the inventory. Or you can go up into the snow mountains, but again, a video in the video description will show you exactly how you get here. Now, once you get to this spot, guys, where I'm at right here, am I being chased by an enemy because I can't pull up my map? Either way, when you get here, what they did is they nerfed this spot. You jump across to that platform right there. I can see where I'm at now. Nice. But now they've put an invisible wall there, so you can't actually get across there. So if you watch this, you'll see I will run and fall off because there's an invisible wall there. But there's a different way in which you can do this. A much, much easier way, actually. Don't require you to jump across to this, but you can come to the same spot and still use the same rune farm. Lower times are so much better now on Xbox as well, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. So much quicker. So I'm just going to quickly run back to that spot, as you'll see right here. Whoa. And there's, there's a lot of places here, guys. Uh, and I've done this in multiple patches, I think the 1.04 they uh, added a few invisible walls to a few spots, popular spots where people are using exploits like this to throw themselves off the map and swing that weapon and if you're watching this for the first time and haven't got a clue what I'm doing it's actually quite a crazy exploit let me just come back here how many runes did I have? I ain't really bothered about these runes to be honest they're so easy to get from me but hey from this spot guys, you don't jump across there you want to jump down to this ledge right there so if you do this guys just like so there we have it from this spot you want to double jump through here and then just swing that weapon now like i said if you haven't seen this before you're gonna be like what is actually happening here so what's happening here you're basically exploiting the game if you swing your weapon it cancels out the death animation and eventually you'll fall so far the map above you despawns meaning all the adds up there fall to their death when that happens, guys, you get all their runes. I calculate, you probably get about 180k per run. Keep in mind, I am not 
I repeat, I am not in New Game Plus. If you are, expect it to double, triple, whatever. Now, like I said, you fall for about a minute, a minute and a half. You have to keep swinging that weapon, light attack, and you have to double jump on your horse in the initial process of doing the glitch. Because if you don't double jump, you won't be able to swing your weapon. So keep that in mind. Now, you've probably seen these. Uh, all over the place now there's a couple of other spots as well if you haven't got access to the Mugwin dynasty area we can use exploits like this which i'll showcase to you in a quick second you don't get as many runes but you can do them just as easy in fact even easier they can go there's your initial burst now, if i keep falling i will get another burst i think about another 15 to 20 seconds i think in total there could be three or four ticks of runes here i'm not sure but hey just keep falling until you you're sure you're not going to get any more and then what you'll do is you'll then fast travel back to the grey so you can, there you go, kind of a nice uh, slot of runes there. Then guys, bam, fast travel back. And then from here, you can just rinse and repeat the process. Now there's another one you can do as well guys, which is climbing up these rocks from the same grace point by the way. This one's a little bit more tedious because you have to climb, it's a bit of a pain in the arse. You know how it goes, you have to get this perfect as well, which can be a little bit difficult as you can see I'm failing here. I did do it earlier, it definitely still works, but as you can see, I'm failing. Let me try this way. Uh, jump up there, yeah, that's much better. So from here, you have to jump to the left, then jump to the right like so. Then you have to make your way across there like so, and come up here. And then guys, you just run to the edge of the map, you jump off again, double jump, and just keep swinging. And again guys, you will get those runes. I always come across this way, a lot of people don't. I always come across to the shadow. See where the shadow meets the light, run, double jump towards that pillow, and then just swing away. Just keep swinging, guys, and keep swinging. And again, you'll get the exact same amount of runes as uh, what I just got. I mean, if you're good at parkour, you could probably do this quicker than you could do the other spot. But if you ain't, the other spots, obviously, the first spot I just showed you is much, much better. Again, I ain't going to fall and keep falling because the video is just going to go on forever. But again, as soon as you get those rune, guys, you can just simply just go, past it, go back to the grace point. Rinse and repeat the process. Now there's another spot you can use in this area, which you want to go to this grace point. Or if you have the Pure Blood Knights medal, you can just use that. It takes you even closer. Uh, this is the actual thing you get from the Whiteface Fire's quest line. You can use this and it will take you to where we need to go. Just like so. Save us using that grace point. And you can see where we're at right here. So from this point, which is just next to that grace point guys, you want to jump on your horse and come this way. Again, this is another spot in which you can uh, jump off the map swinging that weapon. So you want to come up here, climb up onto there like so. And you want to jump across here. Now this one to me can be a bit harder because you can fall off this rock so easy. Then jump this way and jump that way. And when you're up here guys, you want to make your way all the way over here. You don't want to jump off this way. Normally for me, if I jump off down here, I always die. No matter what. I think there's a death barrier down there. I don't know what's happening, but I always come as far up here as I can to do this. Let's keep coming up here. You can go around. Let's make your way up here. And keep coming. And then throw yourself off around this area here. And again, throw yourself off. Double jump. Swing your weapon. Get those runes. Fast travel back to that grace. And you are good to go, guys. Okay, so there's a couple of spots outside of this area where you don't need to get to this area to use. The first spot we'll go to is right up here, the Ordina de la Chalica Town. Now, if you haven't got to this spot, um, you need the Halley Tree Medallion. The Halley Tree Medallion you use at the Grand Lift of Road, then you'll bring that up here. But search YouTube for a guide on the Halley Tree Medallion, and you're able to access this area. Now, there's two spots in this area. Um, but the first one is right here, which I'll show you. So we're going to fast travel here guys, real real easy, real real simple and from this grace point you can see right here you need to follow this path now when you first come here you actually need to do a little slight puzzle in this area uh, to actually access the steps and a portal we will need to go by so when you first come here guys you'll run around this way and you'll see there's a little a little portal there you stand on the portal activate it and you have to light four candles in the area it's very easy guys not gonna lie once you've done that though you'll be teleported back and you can come up here and this door will be open and from here this is where the other room farm starts so on your horse run right under the other portal jump delay your double jump jump again 
and just fall and swing. Simple as that. Keep falling, keep swinging, and eventually, guys, like every other spot, you'll get a bunch of runes. Now, I'm not sure exactly how many you get here. I can't remember. So we'll fall and test this. I think it could be maybe 60k, maybe 70k. Again, this isn't New Game Plus. So keep that in mind. This is not New Game Plus. Uh, but yeah. And I ain't using a gold pickled foul foot here. I've only got the gold scarab on. So you can increase this by 20% if you use those gold pickled foul foot. And you can increase every rune farm I'm going to show today if you use those buffs. Keep that in mind. So yeah, this is just another one of a few of these spots you can throw yourself. There's a couple more. There's one that's also in this area as well, which again, you'll need the Halitree Medallion for. But there's actually another spot where you don't need any medallions. I mean, you can get to the area just through generally progress in the game. Uh, so you're good. And that's in the mountain tops of the Giants, which I'll show you lastly in today's video. But yes, people. Yes, people. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm, I'm actually curious to see how much you get from this. Uh, I'm not actually sure how much. Was it about 90k, 100k then? So that's not bad, not bad whatsoever. Okay, so from then, guys, you then just simply fast travel back to the grace, and then you just rinse and repeat the process. You can get quite a few runes doing that. Okay, so another spot in this area is located down here. So you need to come to this. I don't even know what that says. We're going to call it the Annex Tunnel. So fast travel to this, or just travel down to here. Now, this is the grace point we're going to be using for this farm, so you need to come down into the tunnel for the first time anyway and activate this grace point. No, the lift, I need to pull down. Okay, to make this more efficient on yourself as well, and I'll, I'll show you what to do here if you want, if you plan on using this. So when the lift comes down, guys, obviously from the grace point you travel to, get on the lift and go up. Just like so. And then as you actually guys run off this, you want to send the lift back down just like so because then when you fast travel back down to the grace, uh, you can just simply jump back on the lift instead of waiting through. So from here guys, you want to jump on your horse and we're going to run right just of that rock. So just like so, double jump, one, two, delay that second jump and just fall and swing. It really is that simple guys. And again, I'm not sure how much you get from this, could be 50, 60k plus. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's something like that. So, yep, keep swinging, guys. Keep on swinging. But yeah, like I said, there's many of these room farms in the game that use this exploit, use this glitch, but they, I'm showing you the best today, the ones that earn you the most. Because some of them you'll get like 20 or 30k from. Some of them are like a one time things where there's not many enemies in the area. You'll see these videos on YouTube 600,000 per minute. Where the initial jump, they jump off and get 600k runes because there's a boss in the area that's fallen and died. But that boss isn't a farmable boss, so once you've done it once, you won't get the same amount of runes the second time in doing it. So you need to keep that in mind as well. So yeah, let's keep swinging, guys. Keep swinging up. I'm sure I've been swinging about 45 seconds here. Let's go. Let's go. What are we going to get? I've made individual videos on all of these as well. Got about 60 or 70k then, not too bad, not too bad. You probably get a couple more ticks as well if you keep falling, but we're going to skip that part anyway. But then we can just fast travel back to the grace, rinse and repeat the process, guys. Again, another farm you can use if you want to. Now, the last one for today's video, guys, is located within the mountain tops of the giants. Now, I gotta try and remember how you get here. Okay, so I have to quickly edit the video because I'm an absolute idiot. This is the actual uh, grace point you want to come to the giant's grave post, yeah, within the mountain tops of the giants. So no real medals needed apart from ones you'll get from auto progress in the game. Uh, so from here guys, follow this path. Now this is quite easy to be honest. Um, no real parking involved, parkour involved whatsoever. You just literally run around and then jump off the map. And I'm not sure exactly how much you get here from this. Probably like 60k maybe? 70k maybe? can't really remember because I am a bit of an idiot so I just run this way around you don't have to come this way around there's many other ways but hey so you see this uh, this giant here with a tree through him you literally just run past him like this and double jump off the map and then just swing it really is guys are that simple and that's all you gotta go on you can see where I'll show you exactly where we're at in the map 
in a quick second. Let me just fall a bit further. Let me just fall a bit further, people. Get past these uh these structures, these placeholders. You keep falling, guys. You keep falling. I can't exactly remember exactly how much you get here. Again, it could be 40, 50k, maybe a little bit more. You can see where we're at, guys. Right there. Right there. So, yep, we're just going to fall. Now, this is actually the last part we're going to cover today. These are the best, in my opinion, the best room farms in the game you can do. Yeah, these were all players as well. But, yeah, you'll be a millionaire in no time. If you're looking to level up, you're trying to level up, you should be completely fine using these. You should be fine using these people. How many runes I've actually got? I don't really want to. Okay, 160. So I got about 45k then, another 20k. So you're getting about 70k runes. I'm not sure exactly. So 70k runes. Uh, you're getting quite a bit. You're getting quite a bit. 80k then maybe. So it's not too bad. Quite easy to use. And there we have it, guys. Which you've done that. Simply just fast travel back to the grace point. Rinse and repeat. And there we have it, guys. Some great rune farms you can still use post 1.05 patch in Alden Rings. And there we have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.